Welcome to another Warframe tip of the day. Today we'll be showing you where to farm Arokan cells. Arokan cells can be commonly dropped from Sirius, Saturn, and Deimos. However, we're going to take a closer look at the easier mission of these choices. Let's head over to Gabion's series. This is a low level survival mission, but also a dark sector mission, which spawns infested enemies, but also provides a bonus drop chance for resources. Inside the mission, Arokan cells can drop from defeating enemies, breaking open containers, opening lockers, and cell arrays. To maximize your chances of a cell to drop, I suggest bringing a looting Warframe, such as Necros, Korra, or Hydroid. Necros has a built-in ability that can drop extra loot called Desecrate. Korra and Hydroid can be modded for an extra loot drop chance also. Korra has a mod called Pilfering Strangledome, and Hydroid has a mod called Pilfering Swarm. I also bring my Smita Kavat companion, equipped with the mod Charm. This also has a drop chance for resources. Here I am bringing my Warframe Korra, modded with Pilfering Strangledome, and a Smita Kavat modded with Charm. I also combine Korra with the primary weapon Amphrax. When an enemy gets stuck onto your cage, the Amphrax can chain the enemies that are already stuck to your cage, eliminating more than one at a time. The chain damage can also help with hordes of enemies surrounding you. When I first get into the mission, I run around the map and break open all the containers and open all the lockers. I use the mod loot detector to help find containers and resources I need to pick up. This mod will show containers and resources on your mini-map. Therefore, I pull up my big mini-map so I can easily see if a resource has been dropped. Combined with loot detector, I mod my companion with fetch. If you're using a robotic companion, equip the mod vacuum. Both mods will suck any resources lying around into you, making picking up resources easier and less of a hassle. After you clear the map of any containers, now you can set up your camping cage and wait for the enemies to come to you. This will prevent random resources from dropping all over the map, but instead they will drop in the general area you're sitting in, making loot farming more efficient. With the loot detector mod equipped, you'll be able to see any resource the enemy has dropped on your mini-map. Simply just run over to it and let your vacuum suck it up. I suggest staying for 20 minutes. Arokan cells can drop in the first 5 to 10 minutes, but will drop more frequently between 10 to 20 minutes. The enemies will spawn more and more, leaving extra drop chances. Doing this mission with a squad is preferred, but can easily be completed solo. I prefer a squad because more enemies will spawn, leaving extra drop chances. More players equal more enemies. I managed to leave the map at 20 minutes farming more than 10 Arokan cells with a squad. You can get up to between 4 to 10 cells per mission or even more. A resource booster can help increase how many cells you can pick up. Keep an eye on the bottom left of your screen. When you pick up a cell, a picture of it will be displayed along with how many you grabbed. A resource booster will give you 2 times the Arokan cells as opposed to 1 Arokan cell with no booster. Next, if you're looking for a small amount of broken cells, such as 1 to 3 per mission, I suggest heading over to Tethys on Saturn. This is a low-level assassination mission to defeat General Sargus Ruck. Ruck has a high drop chance of an broken cell when defeated. Not every time, but at least 4 out of 5 runs, he will drop a cell. The first thing I do when I get into the mission is break open all the containers. There may be a chance you can grab a couple broken cells on your way to the boss. To make this run faster and more efficient, I bring my Warframe Limbo. I call my looting Limbo when I'm focused on just crate farming. I mod in with max range. The range will determine how big your Cataclysm bubble will be. The bigger the bubble, the more range you have for breaking open containers. When activated, Cataclysm can break open containers for you. When combined with the mod Vacuum, the resources will be swept up into you after you activate the bubble. The mod Loot Detector will help give you an idea on where to activate your ability by looking at your mini-map and finding groups of white crates to blow up. After you clear the map, head over to Ruck. A waypoint will indicate where he is. To defeat Ruck is very simple. Let him go crazy with trying to kill you. You can stay in rift mode for this preventing any damage. Ruck will then have a glow on his body. This is where you shoot him. Shoot the glowing part of his body. The glow will disappear and come back. Just shoot the glow. He will eventually go down and hopefully drop in a Roken cell also. If you just need one cell, then just run straight to the boss, kill him, grab the cell, and extract. This one cell method can take as little as 5 minutes. For just one cell, I bring the Warframe Titania. She has an ability that shrinks her down into a pixie and you can fly straight to the boss. 
Her flight will avoid most of all enemies and is fast. You can even stay in pixie mode to defeat the boss and avoid extra damage. When modded correctly, you can defeat this mission between 3 to 5 minutes for one cell with Titania. And just do this method repeatedly. My last suggestion mission is to go to Piscinas on Saturn. This is a semi-low level survival mission also that is another dark sector mission, which will spawn infested enemies and also has a bonus resource drop chance. If you don't want to do another dark sector mission, you can head over the Titan on Saturn instead. This map will spawn Grenier enemies instead of the infestation. I would be using the same loadout that I used for Gabby on series. Korra with Pilfering Strangodome and Asmita Kavat with Charm. We will be loot crate farming as well as killing the enemies. Run around the map first and destroy all the containers and open all the lockers while killing the enemies on your way. When you clear the map, set up your Strangle Dome and just eliminate enemies until your desired time to extract. Here I like to stay for 20 minutes. Between Piscinas and Titan, I managed to gather 5 or more broken cells at the end of the 20 minute extraction run. For a more detailed walkthrough, I'm using the same method as Gabby on series. Go back and check out the section on Gabby, which is at the beginning of the video. And there you have it, another Warframe tip of the day. Tell me in the comments below how many broken cells you managed to grab on your run. If this tip helped you, please hit that like and super thanks button. For more Warframe tips and my Let's Plays, check out my channel and hit that subscribe. I'll see you guys next time for another Warframe tip of the day.